At Google, we are fully in our Gemini era. Whoa! Today we have some exciting new progress to share. Project Astra. Mm. Nice. We're introducing Gemini 1.5 Flash, a capable generative video model called Leo. The sixth generation of TPUs called Trillium. We're calling these gems. And talk about Gemma, Poly Gemma. Gemma 2, Red Team, Learn and Lab. You know what, let's talk about simpler things. Android 15 is here, it's actually got 10 big changes and features, so subscribe, hit the bell icon, let's go. So let's start off with the visual changes and you've got to check out the Easter egg. As you can see, Android 15 is internally named Vanilla Ice Cream and this is the new Android 15 logo and here after some intense fingering, you get this fun Easter egg which is pretty cool. Now coming to the actual changes, this is what the expanded volume panel looked like in Android 14 and this is the new expanded volume panel in Android 15. It's got these thicker sliders, these dots to quickly max the volume, tapping on this icon works for muting things quickly. It's also collapsible, yeah things look way better. I also noticed that the Bluetooth quick setting now has a pop-up menu similar to Wi-Fi and in the Bluetooth settings there is an automatically turn on Bluetooth option even if you turn it off which I think is to make sure the new Find My Experience works properly. Android 15 also brings predictive back gesture. So when you use the back gesture, you get a little preview of the page you're going back to. See this? I know it seems like a very minor change, but it's got this animation and just makes things a little smoother. Now talking about smooth, I've seen people complaining about the lag and stutter issues when putting an app in PIP mode. Android 15 fixes that. I mean, just look at how smooth PIP works when using YouTube and just going to the home screen. It's definitely better and I hope this makes it to every single Android phone. Always wanted a man cave but on your phone, well Android 15 has a new private space feature similar to the secure folder on Samsung phones and it will have two use cases. I'll tell you that in a bit but private space is where you hide and lock your super private apps. You can use a different Google account for it, you can set a lock that's different, you can install any apps on it, it has a different Play Store altogether. You can access the private space from the bottom of the app draw like this and the cool part is you can even hide it from here and your yeah, notifications from these apps will be hidden and the apps you have in your private space won't be available in the settings as well and yeah two use cases great if you want your banking apps and other important apps to have that extra security and great if you you know for other apps Android 15 is also bringing a really useful feature to screen recording. See, when you hit screen record in Android 15, by default, it's set to record a single app as you can see, and this is great because this does not record any notifications that you get. And even if you go to the home screen, the screen recording shows you the app you were recording, nothing else. Very handy. Android 15 also brings big changes to haptics and you're gonna love these. First of all, there is adaptive vibration which adjusts the vibration intensity based on what's around, so less intensity on say a table and more on a sofa. So no more table to that as Add to this, the brightness slider in the notification center now has haptics. It's very subtle and I love how it increases as you increase the brightness. Android 15 also adds an option in the system settings to turn on or turn off haptics in the keyboard, no matter which keyboard app you're using, very convenient. Android 15 will also let you set custom vibrations for certain notifications, certain contacts, and it's not live yet, but I can see it being really handy. So I've always liked iOS's offload apps feature which kind of removes unused apps when you're not using them and when you go back to them it keeps your app data so you don't have to log in again, don't have to enter all your data and Android has had this feature in the Play Store settings but I've never really seen it work. Good news is Android 15 lets you manually archive apps in the settings to free up some storage and like iOS all your app data remains intact so you just open up the app again and everything will be there even downloads in an app like netflix android 15 also brings one feature that we have seen in other android skins before but it's here in stock android so good i'm talking about the fact that when you have two apps in split screen you can just go here and save the app pair like this this creates the shortcut on the home screen and now you can just launch it to launch two apps in split screen and it's pretty smooth the animation everything Lastly, there's probably my favorite and probably the most important feature Google announced at I.O. I'm talking about theft protection, which will use AI to detect if someone snatches your phone from your hand and tries to run, bike or drive away, and it will instantly lock the phone. So handy in India. There's also factory reset protection, so if the thief manages to somehow reset your phone, they won't be able to set it up without your Google account password. Password. <laughs> password Q. And if the thief somehow has access to the pin of your phone, probably a friend who's a thief, 
We all have them. They'll not be able to access important settings without your biometric data. Google is also bringing remote lock for people who forget their Google account password. And this lets you lock your phone with just your phone number and a security question. And the best part is these features are not limited to Android 15. These will arrive on all Android devices running Android 10 and above via a Google Play services update. Now, apart from all this too, there are a lot more features coming. Circle to search can now solve math problems. Gemini is also getting better, as you can see. Android will use on-device AI to spot scam in apps and in calls, although I'm not sure if this will ever come to India. So yeah, there might not be a lot of visual changes, but Android 15 is bringing some very important features. Anyway, if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe. We are still a very new channel. Hit that bell icon and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And let's hope you get Android 15.